Hey guys. All right, this question comes at me constantly. We're gonna hit this once. And I think that it's gonna solve a lot of concerns, anxieties, curiosities, all that. Here's the deal. People ask me all the time. I hired a PA. My PA is amazing. However, I'm not getting the sales on my books that I thought I would get because I have a PA. So basically the concern is, look, I'm investing all this money, say 30 to $100 a month, depending on what you pay your PA. But yet I'm only selling $30 a month worth of books. That's a valid concern and I understand it. At the same time, I want to challenge you to look at this differently. So when you get a PA, which you all know, I am all about getting a PA. When you get a PA, you need to look at this as like a rainy day fund. You know how you have those jars that say like trip fund or, you know, whatever. People put different, different things on the little jar and they save up. Whether it's, you know, girls night out, whether it's rainy day fund, whatever it might be. Okay. That's the same thing you're doing when you hire a PA. It takes between seven to 14 times for a person to see a book, a product, and anything, depending on the genre, depending whatever, variety of factors, before they click buy. Obviously, you have your one-click readers. That's awesome, that's amazing, they are your tribe. But for readers who are new to you, or who are unsure, or who have only read a couple of your things but aren't quite hooked yet, those guys need to see a book between seven to 14 times before they're gonna click on it. So when you invest in a PA, what you're doing is helping build your brand, okay? If your PA is pimping your books every day, in theory, in two weeks time, you have now put that book out there 14 times, right? Now that's not always, <coughs> excuse me, dying, not COVID, don't worry. Anyway, that's not always the, the deal, you know, sometimes people, the third click, the third time they see it, they'll buy it. Sometimes it takes 20 times of seeing it. Either way, what it's all doing is adding up to like being put into a jar like you would to save for a trip or a rainy day fund. You are doing something to invest and build upon a brand. And this is why for me, PAs are so important. You want to slowly but surely over time, build that brand and make yourself visible. If a reader is seeing 14 times, hey, Erin Lee, she's a person, well, they may not know why they recognize my name, but eventually they're gonna go, I've heard of her before. And then eventually it's gonna be, why have I heard of her before? And oh, she's that one that I think writes those serial killer books or whatever it is that your brand is and that you're writing. So hiring a PA or having a really good pimp team if you don't have the money to hire a PA, is literally an investment. It's like putting pennies in a jar for a rainy day. If you make it a habit that every time you get out of your car, you throw pennies in a jar, you don't, you know, with your change from that day's coffee, also spare change, or instead you give up that day's coffee in order to pay, pay a PA, it's sort of the same thing. You want to accumulate over time those views. So in this analogy, the pennies are basically the readers seeing you but not being sure the readers being kind of over and over hit with your name with a cover with a book with a blurb all the things that a PA can provide when they're pimping that is going to give you visibility that is going to help your brand that is a big part of what makes paying a PA worth it are you going to get your money back right away hell no you're not but that does not mean you're throwing your money away okay you're not throwing your money away when you take your change out of your car and throw it in a bin to go on a cruise in two years, right? That's the same concept. Every time you pay your PA and you know, I really lost $20 this month, you're not throwing money away on that PA. You're investing in that cruise, aka that success, aka that brand, two years from now. You're investing on your ability to later sell your backlist because you've developed a bigger tribe of one-click readers who will, I promise you, go through your backlist. I have readers that are new to me by the last six months, say, let's say. Those same readers are now hitting my backlist of 100 books. 
So you figure at a profit, we'll say a two ninety nine ebook at a profit of like seventy cents, right? Seventy cents times a hundred is seventy dollars of passive income that I haven't had to think about in a long time. That is now coming back to me and has been part of that brand building process for the last six years that will ultimately pay off even more because once those readers are hooked, they will continue to buy my books and become part of that core tribe. So basically, please don't feel like if you're paying your PA, I'm just going to do the most common average amount I know, $50 a month. If you're paying that $50 a month and then you are only selling $75 worth of books a quarter, don't feel like you're throwing your money away. You're not throwing your money away. You're building a brand. Guys, this is a marathon. I have said it so many times and people hate this answer. I hate this answer, but it's honest and I'd rather be honest with you than not. If you are publishing in indie, whether that is self-publishing or with a small indie press, you are going to take the long way to the top or you're going to take the long way and then quit either way, but that's your call. If you choose to go indie, which has a ton of benefits as far as control and speed and all those things, artistic input, but if you're going to choose that route, then you have to be prepared to invest money in a PA, but not feel like you got robbed because you didn't get robbed. Your PA did not make more than you. I understand it feels that way. It looks that way. It seems that way. Many times I'm like thinking the same exact thing. But now I don't think that. I don't think that at all. I know that having a PA, a good PA, and trust me, I know how hard they are to find. I've made videos on that many times. A good PA is worth the money now because it will pay off later when it means one-click readers and selling that backlist. With that said, you're going to make more on that investment if you have a bigger backlist. A lot of times people only have four books. A PA can only do so much with four books. You need a big backlist. In Good work, battery dies. Anyways, you need a great PA in order to be able to sell that backlist, which you want to make big. So I hope this clears that up. Nobody's throwing away money on a PA unless they're not a good PA. And there are so many. There are more bad PAs than good PAs. So be careful with who you choose to be your PA. But once you do have a good PA, stick with them. Feel great about paying them. Pay them on time. Do not be that author who does not pay a PA. I can't tell you how many PAs I know that have authors that have money that they owe. That's not right either. If you can't afford a PA, then guess what? Blood, sweat, and tears. Get out there and pimp that book yourself. Again, you're investing in yourself just like you're asking your readers to, guys. You got to think, if you expect your readers to invest in your work, you should be too. Whether it's paying a PA or pimping your own work, whether it's taking the time because you don't have the money to spend on books, to build a really tight, close street team and forge those relationships with one quick click readers, or is to say, look, I don't have time for this. I'm more focused on my backlist. I need to be worried about that. I'm just gonna run my groups and pages, but I'm gonna pay a PA to pimp me or pay a PA to do other things for me. That's fine. How you do that, there are no wrong answers. But to feel like you're throwing money away on a PA simply because of sales is really the wrong way to look at it. You're never throwing away money when it's a good PA. That's, that's the catch. It's a good PA. If you see your PA is working as hard as you on your book, that PA is gold. If your PA is never here or doesn't show up on release days or needs 500 reminders, that PA is not worth the money. It's that simple, guys. I, I can't. I can't be more simple. <laughs> you're never throwing away your money when you're building a brand if you're serious about being here five years down the road. If you're not, go buy that coffee. If you are, skip the coffee, get a Keurig, make, better yet, a home brew, throw that money at your PA, never look back, don't feel bad about it, and I'm telling you, it pays off long term. It does. Also, guys, remember, PAs are not magicians. We are in a pandemic. All book sales are down across all platforms, even in traditional publishing. A lot of big publishers are holding releases because the readers are not buying books right now. So to compare your sales back in January 
to now, whether you had a PA or not, isn't really very fair to you and it's not fair to your PA. It's just not, guys. So take that into consideration. You are investing because every time your PA shares, you're hitting the reader in the head with, hey, I know her, I've seen her. Oh yeah, that cover, I love that cover. Oh, I'll put that on my wish list. Oh, I'll put that on my TBR. Those things add up long term. We'll even use the pandemic. Okay, so say we get another surplus check. Suddenly, your PA has been pimp, 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 pimp. No sales, no sales, no sales. Surplus check comes. Boom, I can tell you when people got surplus checks as a publisher. Why? Like flat line of sales, spike. Flat line of sales, another spike. I could literally see it in the account. Remember the political climate we're in? as well as the pandemic, as well as the fact that you are looking long-term because this is a marathon, not a sprint, and you'll be okay. You're never wasting money on a good PA. I will say it again, you are never wasting money on a good PA. Feel great about it. Thank you to all of the fantastic PAs out there. You guys are what makes these books go. I appreciate you, and I appreciate the authors that asked this question. I've asked myself this many, many, many times. So don't feel bad about asking it. But this is just what I've come to realize over six years and many, many ups and downs in book world. Have a great day, guys. I will talk to you soon. Until next time, peace, love, books and crazy.